Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Tag team: Sarah Max CNN. Then Huck drops the hammer to finish them off. How do we love Sarah Huckabee Sanders as press secretary? Let me count the ways. Wait, no, we've only got a few hundred words to do this, not a few thousand. Suffice it to say that, instead of the vague look of constipated disgust combined with a mean of a deer in the headlights Sean Spicer could often give off when frustrated by the media, Sanders jousts with them with a decided aplomb, almost seeming to enjoy the spectacle. Nobody's found that out more than the folks at CNN. When she takes questions from them, they get annoyed at the answers. When she doesn't take questions from them, they get annoyed at the fact that they weren't allowed to ask questions. Jim Acosta, the network's White House press correspondent, was the one bellyaching about the lack of CNN representation at the end of the press conference this past Monday. As Sanders was on her way out of a relatively short briefing, Acosta shouted after her, Sarah, can I ask a question? Sarah, that's the third briefing you have not taken a question from CNN. Three briefings without taking a question from CNN? It's the end of the world. You should probably go on social media and sulk about it like a teenager, Jim. Yes, apparently not content with pulling off the press room version of the woman in Target yelling, Where's the manager? I want to speak to your supervisor, the 46 year old, I repeat. 46 year old Acosta went on to, to Twitter to write, Third press briefing in a row that a press sec did not take a question from CNN. Hashtag courage. So, Sanders decided to give him an answer, of sorts. And in 280 characters or less, she made him look as petty as he sounded. Courage isn't taking a question from CNN, Jim, Sanders tweeted back at him. Courage is combat veteran Sergeant Peck and Staff Sergeant Dwyer, the two heroes at the briefing. Hashtag it's note about IU. Sergeant Peck and Staff Sergeant Dwyer, according to Fox News, were two wheelchair-bound former servicemen who came to the press briefing to talk about President Trump's swamp training efforts at the Virginia and yes, that is real courage. Whoops. And leave it to the press secretary's father to drop the final hammer. Ouch. Burned by not one Huckabee, but two. Did Acosta just slink away to lick his wounds? Did he respond gracefully? Of course not. Never change, Jim Acosta. Never change. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.